Good day of yours, bro. Here's that bulb I blew with a variac. As I went to throw it out and try to smash it, hit the top half, and this little shade um, thing snapped off. So now that it's free floating, I can, oh, then that it's um, uh, free floating, I can get it to short out two of the um, terminations inside the, inside the bulb. So if I short any of these out and put this on my way around mop, high current through that, I should be able to burn this out internally. I might make an interesting video with that, see. And I'll try that, just over ramp it and just burn it out internally. Same with this bulb. I got the did that filament trick where you manoeuvre it till the filament touches where it's blown. And the bulb did work but it blew the hell out of those little connectors. Can't get a good um, shot on here. Yeah, little uh, those little connectors that go to the filament. You see it all burst and shorted and blackened the bulb and it vented the bottom out so if I get that right a touch between those again, which it is, there's more filament left. It's actually touching between the circuits, so the circuit's closed again. But if I wrap this up in the variac again, it will work a little bit, boom. So I'll do that later on. That might make a nice pop, so I might want to wear safety glasses because if that blows that glass up, I don't want to get any of that glass in your eye. <laughs> so let's get this all wired up. I'll go get some wire and we'll get this going. See what happens. Okay, the is all wired up. Big ass heavy duty earth cable. Try and get this little bit to touch between those filaments. Get that to short out there. I should be able to just turn it on and watch it short out internally. No. It takes a bit of fiddling for it to for this to touch. Now it's touching so I just hold the camera on the transform key. Like this. Sit it there. Now it should be touching both just so I can ensure a good connection. Turn it on. Nah. Can't get a good internal connection on that. Just short that bulb out. It's actually a lot harder than I thought it was going to be to do that. It's almost impossible to do actually. That has to touch in between those connectors inside so that short self. So gonna... There, it might work there, but I'm gonna put it in a position there so see if I can get that to hook up. Not sure we're turned off. Gotta rewire it. Oh, connection's the wrong way. There, like that. There. Let's see what that does. There you go. Internal short. The bulb flashed. There you go, but it doesn't stay connected. It jumped off again. That was a bit better than nothing. I got a nice flash. I was expecting that just to glow that hot normally. That will sit there. Try right, again, yours. Not sure we turned off. Yep, it turned off. Alright, we'll try again, eh? You barking at Max? You gotta kick back. Oh, spot welded. Alright, well, hard to get a good connection inside that. Yeah, it spot welded a bit, but it melts it straight away, so. Let's 
keep tapping it so it bends internally. There we go, get that to short out against that. It's nearly touching. No, it broke off. Oh, so. right, for yours, let's try again. It's on. Can't get connection. No. Doesn't work anymore. I must have destroyed it somehow inside and blew the internal circuit up. But yeah, it did do a little bit of damage. I melted the end of it off, but that's it. Can't do any more damage than that. She's broken. Let's try something else. Okay, if you always try and burn this out, see if I can. Yep. Power amplifier cable. See? Just an old fan motor. Can't get it to contact properly there. It's going to be a bit of a challenge. Find the right pole to conduct. We should get it to burn one of the warnings yet. Can't get a good connection. Getting hot. No smoke though. It takes a while to burn a set in more amps. Transformers are working very hard, so it's going to take a long time to burn a set. Some smoke. This challenge is to hold this wire here and watch it burn out at the same time. Should be enough. It's almost like I'm working very hard in it, but we're getting smoke. Here are tripods to come in handy. There we go. This motor was stuffed. I could not fix this motor, so I'm just going to blow it up like this. Would have been a nice motor if I had fixed it. That brush gear has all been smashed, and the brushes can't be held by anyway. And the rest of the magnets were all smashed, and the inner housing was all smashed, and yeah, it's just unrepairable, so it dies a horrible death like this. Those brushes there do this warning. Learn something for there. <laughs> there we go. Built builds up resistance. Builds up loading the transformer. Hmm, familiar smell of electrical burnout. There you go, got red hot wires. I should go open circuit now, so. Bit of a challenge to unwind those wires anyway, so I could unwind them and reuse them with something else, but nah, it's more fun to burn them out. Good scrap copper, then it'd be clean and purified for scrap. Let's check the transformer. Secondary is a slightly soft, this wire, but it's not too bad.
Yeah, it welded itself. Now yeah, the insulation's backed off, I can tap in like this. There we go, I got a short built up in it. Just fill this for a bit. Yeah, it's getting too warm. I might need a higher current supply for this, but yeah. Well, it's gotten soft. It's become a spot water on the power just now. Alright viewers, that's getting a little bit too soft those windings. Yeah, gets a little bit too warm unfortunately, but I've had a big, big, bigger, much bigger chance from like a world or something all the way around. A thousand amps would say, that would have done that in a couple of seconds flat and blew it up, but interesting enough, so. I'm um, doing some more volt over voltage today, just some couple of just junk speakers, 2 watts, 16 ohms, came out of a princess brand TV, an absolute piece of junk, it lasted 6 months and it's stuffed up, so they're getting popped, and that's getting popped, because that also sounds like crap. Get the amp meter in the right place here, so if we can see that, at the same time as the speaker, it's on zero, 20 volts, get the speaker to work. Doesn't work. The speaker's already blown. Alright. Speaker's already blown up. I had that plugged into a stereo today and it got too bit a little bit bassy and then it stopped working. Then it came back for a bit, then it turned it off, so it must have opened circuit again. So let's try speakers that already work fine. Make sure it's off and it is. Put it in reverse polarity here. I'm not going to bother taking the um, front face off. Okay, it's on zero. Try popping this speaker. Surge current of one amp at about 50 volts. On here, but I don't know what the output is, so I need to measure it. Yeah, it's blown. <laughs> yeah, DC, through the speaker, made it push one way, then pop. AC just would have made it fluctuate. DC just made it go one way. Mmm, that stinks. didn't get warm at all. I might put a heat stick on that too later on. Let's see what happens. That's there. That's pretty much a good view. Yeah, you can see that. And there reacts on zero. I'm going to hold this as good as I can. Turn up slowly. Pop. That's it. That's a voice called not I'm going bang open, open circuit. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> that was pretty funny actually. Man do these sound like crap. Yeah, they don't move much now. They're stuck. That's the end of them. So that's it viewers. 
I was going to pop that shorter light bulb on here, but uh, it's not worth it. I'll end up putting too much amps because the filament's like two millimeters apart, so better not. So, yeah. Thanks for watching.